Woo! Oh, mama. I have a good one for you today. Uh, yeah. So, as you might be able to tell, I am on my rib area. I'm on my, my lats here and using a yoga block. So, I want to set this up here because not all of you should do this. You're going to want to do this if you're an advanced fashionista. If you have been doing fashion release for a while, if you've been hanging out with me for a while and you understand all of the basics of fashion release, you might love this one. But I would not necessarily recommend this for beginners because you might think I'm crazy, leave this channel and never try fashion release again. My name is Alicia and welcome back or welcome to my channel here on YouTube. I'm on a mission to help you self heal injuries, pain, and trauma, so you can access more mind-body freedom. So today, we're gonna to be using a yoga block. Uh, and if you don't have one, don't worry. There are other things you can try. I'm gonna mention that in just a moment, other variations of this. I am gonna be using a yoga block here, and I'm going to link uh, to the yoga block that I'm using in the description box below in case you want to order one for some reason to do your lats or other techniques I do have other techniques using a yoga block um, that I'll be showing here on the channel. Uh, so reasons to do this though, that's always a good place to start. Um, we're targeting the kind of the edge of the lats where they meet the obliques, where they meet the intercostal muscles of the side body, the side kind of ribby area. Um, and then we're definitely grabbing some of that lat tissue, the latissimus dorsi. It's a really big back muscle. And in a lot of us, it gets really fascially restricted, either just from honestly being um, in a contracted but relaxed state, meaning it's, it's uh, not being used per se, but just by sitting. You know, if I were to reach my arms overhead, I would stretch my lats. So just by sitting a lot, it kind of stays in its shortened position instead of lengthened. Um, so it can get tight like that. Um, it could contribute to mid back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, um, even things like hip imbalances can either cause the lats to be tight or the lat tightness on one side or the other left or right can cause um, hip imbalances through things like squatting and throwing heavy things around. So um, personally, I think we all need to tackle this area of our body. It's going to help um, bring us from kind of rounded forward to back because we're opening up this side body. And it's always great to pair lat releases with triceps release maybe the rear deltoid, and definitely the chest. Um, so if I had to pick only one, if you were, say, to create a really short routine for yourself, using lats and one other technique, I would pick the chest. So we'll link to those options in the description box below as well. And if you don't have a yoga block, um, you can do my uh, lat release technique using a foam roller. So either if you don't have a block or if you're a beginner, if you are brand new to my channel, you just so happen to find this video, or maybe you found me last week or the week before that, and you're new to fast release, I would not recommend doing this. Uh, I would recommend using a foam roller first. And the reason is we're going to be using the hard edge of the block here to really shear and kind of scrape away <laughs> the tight fascia of the lat away from the ribs, away from the obliques, and we're gonna get into those intercostals and the ribs are a really sensitive area. So um, I just want you to be careful and mindful of doing this one because I don't necessarily want you bruising um, the next day. I don't want you really sore the next day. Um, I want this to be helpful, not harmful. So since this is an advanced technique, I want you to use your body knowledge, your knowledge of how fascia release should feel here. Um, you're gonna need to really tune in to subtle sensations that are probably a low hum of sensation under the intensity that it might, um, you know, the intensity that might happen just being in this part of your body with this tool right here. Uh, so you just wanna place yourself on the block in kind of a neutral position, flat, um, you know, not at an angle yet. Okay, because if you go at an angle, you're really gonna feel it. Um, the more neutral you are, the better to start because you just wanna get used to what you're feeling here. I like my elbow on the floor um, when I'm starting as well. And then something I like to do just to start with here is breathing. <sighs> breathing. 
because hopefully if you're breathing well, your ribs actually expand. They inflate a little bit. They're mobile enough to move with you. But if you're like most people, then your ribs might be really sticky. They might be stuck. Your diaphragm fascia might be stuck to your rib fascia. And things aren't mobilizing enough to help you breathe well. So this technique can also help you breathe well. And breathing becomes one of the movements we're going to use to release the fascia here. So... So you're just using that expansion and trying to let your ribs actually inflate and push you into the block a little bit and then let yourself collapse away from the block as you exhale. Um, and so you can use breathing as much as you like here. You can try placing the block in different positions. Um, there's actually a lot you could explore here. Uh, I've been using this a lot uh, before yoga classes. If this is gonna benefit you, you're probably gonna need to spend time getting to know your body with this tool. Uh, so not everything, I'm not gonna be able to show you everything in this video, uh, especially because you live in your body, not me, and what my body needs may not be what your body needs. So what you see me doing today may not be as intense for you. Once you're ready to explore some movement here, I'm going to give you options that you can try and then you can do as much or as little as you want with these different options. So one would simply be rocking backwards and forwards, and you might feel a clunk if you do this right. I will say that even me, I have a hard time getting the clunk to happen, and I'm usually really good at it, but there is a clunk here if I do it well, if I'm smart about how I'm using this tool. Um, so that's one option, rocking back and forth. I like to extend my arm and just kind of tap you know, use my fingertips down. You could relax your head all the way down. And then again, you could do this or you could just breathe. Um, you can also just kind of try to crawl your fingers away because you're stretching the lat now under compression. So it's a pin and stretch. Um, you could lift it off and rotate it. Ooh, yeah, like that's, you could keep your fingers down and use your shoulder blade and those muscles in your rotator cuff to rotate. That's a good one. You can do this right here, which you saw me doing in the beginning, which is really good, um, at least for me. And then something I've been playing around with that I really like is curling my body into a small ball, trying to hollow out everything here and then expanding curling and then you might find you know in the curl <laughs> that rotating back and forth is really good or you can explore different arm movements so there's a lot that you can do here that's why i said this is an advanced technique it's really intense but if you're okay with that and you want to explore your body then this is a really really good tool for this area of the body Whew. All right. <laughs> well, just demoing that for you guys, I was feeling a lot and I actually feel pretty uneven left to right. So if you do that on one side, you might notice a really big difference left to right. Uh, that usually indicates your other side needs it too, but that's not always the case. So you always want to kind of tune in and one side might be a lot tighter than the other. And if that's true for you, then you want to do that tight side only maybe or the tight side more, because the goal with fascia release is to always balance ourselves out, left to right and front to back. So let me know if you try this out. Uh, let me know if you have, you know, that, that fascia release knowledge. If you are a fashionista um, and you give this a go, I'd love to hear about it. Um, it's really honestly gonna be for those of you with gumption and um, I would say, hopefully not a high pain tolerance per se, a willingness to tolerate a lot of sensation actually, where it you can acknowledge, oh my God, this is really intense, but you can stay present for it instead of kind of dissociating or not feeling it, which is usually what a high pain tolerance is. Um, so let me know if you try this in the description um, or in the comment section below this video. Um, I'm excited to hear if anyone else is willing to try this. I've been loving it. Stefan, not so much. <laughs> uh, so I can't wait to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.